When we had last left, this dusty, this mining crew member, this rock toucher, <laughs> I don't know what to call ourselves. I don't know what our fucking title is in this game. When we had last left this human being, they had been digging around inside of a cool mine, looking for a weird artifact that had gravitational manipulation power, and upon touching it, they received a strange vision, a strange look into some sort of future, some sort of past. Something was wild as heck, but now it was time to head out and leave to investigate who the heck Constellation were, because they had a vested interest in this artifact, and now in the Dusty. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop. Oh. Oh, oh god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Our zooping is slightly different in here, relative to Skyrim and Fallout, I believe. It's that brand new fucking, that brand spanking new creation engine 2.0, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at Vasco. Just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Oh, fuck, Captain, of course. Captain, protocol indigo is in effect. Captain, I'll guide you as best I can. All right. I guess you can't say Lyle, huh? Good luck, Captain. Fair enough. A look. Hang on. Can we check by these panels over here? Can we investigate this real quick? Could be some cool, like, laying on the ground or whatever. I'd believe it. Uh, it doesn't look like shit. It doesn't look like there is jack shit out here. Okay. Fair enough. Let's head on over. Oh! Oh shit, look! My stats, my gauges, my CO2. Oh god. Captain, protocol indigo is in effect. Okay. Sorry as well, I've got a, a bit of a cold still. Still nursing it. So we may have to do like a cut or a pause or something in between. Oh, free first aid. Med pack and paste, or heal paste. Extinguisher. Pharmaceutical kit synapse alpha sorry excuse me here all right sorry about that apologies like i said just then got a bit of a cold still working on getting it dealt with anyway pharmaceutical kit synapse alpha enhances reasoning and reflexes improving problem solving skills research projects require fewer resources for 10 meters what it has an area of influence? Okay. How... What? <laughs> okay, how do you... How do you take this? Is this an injection? Is this like a hypodermic? Or does it like go inside of your ear? Oh yeah. Oh, it's a needle-less injector. Oh, is it like nano machines, son? Holy shit, look at me, I'm going in. Oh my god, look at that. How, how much work went into this? That's incredible. Okay, this is why artists are so in high demand for games. Because of shit like this. Alright, I'm taking all. Good. Board here. Okay. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Fun fact, in real life, I don't know how to ride a bike. I actually do not know. 
nor do I know how to swim. My childhood was horrifying. <laughs> All right, let's pop this open. What have we got back here? Oh, it's a little turlet. Oh, Barrett, personal slate too. Oh, they call them slates, of course. Well, let's read it. Well, hey there, I read pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot, ripped those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. And then Whoa. you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing except my ghost, because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days, which for a Crimson Fleet pirate is about what, uh, another week? They took his eyes? Like, were they an implant, or were they originals? And now he's got implants. I would assume that they were implants because he seemed to be taking it fairly well? Wow, look at all the clutter. I don't know if I should take anything here. Oh my gosh, look at the fucking details. Oh, it looks so Star Trek, doesn't it? Holy hell. Which I guess, you know, Star Trek took a lot of inspiration from real life futurism and whatnot. Navigation console. Oh, another personal slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, Said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Hold up. I don't think I'm actually a vampire in this game, but... Let's see, I think it may be because I don't have reflections toggled all the way up. No, they are on high. I'm a fucking vampire, dude. <laughs> okay, or maybe that's a different setting and it's not refl- Oh wait, is it a window? It's a window. It's not a mirror. It's, it's not a mirror at all. I thought it was a mirror. Oh god, I thought it was a mirror. Oh my god, we have to re-record this entire fucking video and pretend like that never happened. Oh, look at all this cool shit. Broken Constellation Space Helmet. Hmm. It's still pretty valuable. See, I don't want to move any of the, the knickknacks here. It's so beautiful. Uh-oh. Nightwear. I want the naughty nightwear. Chunks cap. Damn, they got caps in this too? Oh, look at Vasco taking selfies. Look at these. Fearer? For expedition? Or fairer. Yeah, fairer. The tenth planet. Oh, what is the tenth planet? Huh. New age resolution. Dog, I really thought that was a fucking mirror. Hydraulic clamp. Man, look at the detail on all this. That's incredible. I don't even have my shit set up all the way. Oh, look at their not Windows key. Or I guess it's the future. It's like Windows 20 or whatever, right? Because they can do it now. They could put in the Windows key if they wanted to since they got fucking bought out, right? Jeez, what a world. Research station? Hell yeah, look at that. 
This is some Spider-Man ass looking shit, huh? Can I- should I use these or should I- should I go straight to whatever I need to go to? Nova Galactic. Oh, it's a Hab Zone. What is a Hab again? I'm familiar with that. I know of Habs. I've heard of that before. I think Astroneer or something? Alright, let's see. Navigation console. Oh. Vectera, Moon of Ancelon. Survey 80%. Type rock, gravity, 91 G's. Deep freeze temp. Atmosphere is thin CO2. Magnetosphere is weak. Fauna and flora, none. Water is safe. Aluminum. Water. Nickel. Argon. Benzene. Hey, if you're playing in a EU version of this, does it, did, did they actually change it to be aluminium? I would imagine not, right? It's part of the flavor. Let's see. Take off, explore. How do you survey even? Surface map. G. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, there's an unknown locale out there. Oh shit, remove. Oh, replace, remove, or... Replace or remove custom destination. Fuck yeah. Take off from Vectra. But we do have to come back eventually. That might be the other lab that I can't access. Oh look, there's another unknown. Can I... How, how much can you zoom out? A fair amount. Yeah, so my understanding is that... On the vast majority of planets... But not all of them. But on the vast majority of the 1,000 in the game... 10% of them roughly or exactly have life, right? Which is frankly a lot more than it is in real life. But even more importantly is that it is in some way pro procedurally generated terrain, right? The bespoke crafted cool shit that you want is after you land in these little like points of interest. My understanding is that these are pretty much all bespoke handcrafted goodies, right? The shit that we all love. Also, this looks so fucking Twin Peaksy, you know? Oh, shit. Look at all this. Oh, there's star stations around the gas giant. I think it's a gas giant. Yeah, type gas giant. Gotcha. Oh, look, and there's little tiny moonlets there. Okay, holy fuck. Oh my gosh, I'm pressing tab and I just keep going back. Oh my god. There's a soul system, there's Alpha Centauri. That's where we're from, soul system. You know, soul lore system. Okay. I would have to assume that most of the folks watching this channel are already aware of that. But hey, just in case, look, sometimes there's common shit that I don't know, like riding a bike. We're just getting everybody up to speed if we need to. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I don't know how to swim. It's fine. There we go. Let's pop this open. Oh, look. Oh, gosh. Is that going to hit me? No. Okay. Oh, it's got groove. This music fucking is rocking ass in a major cool ass way. Look at all this. Chunks apple. Look, it's packaged. It's got the like the sealant, the plastic wrap. Good god. Sorry, I'm like getting absorbed into shit. Cargo hold, ship parts, lubricant, tungsten, alkanes. Beryllium, copper, lead, nickel, iron, aluminum, sealant, fiber. Can I transfer stuff into there? Inventory. Resources? Ooh, I'm gonna put this in there. Store all of my shit.
There we go. Yeah, all these cool things I found. All right. Great. All right. Sorry, sorry. Looking at all the stuff and ringing it out gave me a little bit of a cough. Okay. It was worth it, though. Oh, it was worth it. All right. Let's head over to our power chair pilot seat. It's amazing that we just know how to do this. It's as easy as riding a bike. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Can I quick save right now? In case I fuck this up real bad. Okay. Oh shit. Is this my body I'm looking down at? Oh, you hold it. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Love it. I wonder if they'll speed it up if you've done it before on a planet or whatever. Right? I could very easily see that. Because it didn't look like a hidden load screen or anything. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Oh, that's cool. Optional, power up all systems, learn to fly. Hold left alt and use wads to switch between systems and allocate power. Okay. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the grav drive. Okay, well, I don't want to do that accidentally. Oh, I see. Okay, and we have a power balance down at the bottom, 0 out of 14, it's all been allocated. on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. That's Which incredible. Engines. engines control our oh, maximum shit. speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Alright, good. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Okay. Boost. Good. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, they'll be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. The lower right. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, look. I've thirded it. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh, okay. Fleet ship its sure. To bear. Oh, dear God. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Target lock, baby. Oh god! Oh! I went into third. You can keep Holy shit, it looked cool though. On the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. There we go. Oh fuck yeah, ballistics. Homing missiles, baby, fuck yes! Do they regen or what? Oh, we can fire all weapon systems. Oh, I see. How many missiles have I got? The number keeps going up every so often. 
Oh, I can dock. I'm docking. I'm docking. Oh, yeah. Bored. Okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Y'all got anything on here? Thermos. Holy shit, this fucking owns ass. Okay. Ooh, a levitating desk planet. Thank you. A succulent. Ceiling. Tape measure, notebook, pen. Let's turn our light on. Anything else good here? Folders. Wire spool. Bunches of tape. What is that? Is that air dock? Or, yeah, airlock. Oh, thank God. You just tap E to climb the ladder. It's not... Okay. Yeah, you enter ladder mode. Thank goodness. Alright. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Erde Brow, Erdbrow Light Can? Erdbrow's light beer, brewed with imitation wheat cultures and simulated hops. Half the calories of Erdbrow Ale. Whoa, fuck! Oh my god, they got me. <laughs> okay, alright, holy shit. Okay. Let's equip this. Let's go back to our nice-ass pistol here. Okay. Yeah, so I can- I can exit if I- if I still want to. We can still- we can still turn this around if I want. Okay, great. Thank God. Okay. Good. Let's see here. I'm going to consume some of that food. Let's see here. Good. Good, good, good. Let's restore some health. We'll just eat the ones that restore health. Okay, lemon. Sure, we're just eating shit. Good. And I'm going to drink the booze. Plus 75 damage resistance. Okay, I'm a little fucked up, but it's fine. Now. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off! Oh shit, oh my gosh, oh fuck. Okay, alright, we got it, we got it easy. Okay. Okay, we're boozed up. Is there smart cover stuff? Yeah. Oh shit, are they getting me through this? Oh fuck, they kind of are. Holy shit. Should I heal? Or did I kill them all? Fuck you! Oh my god, I got him! <laughs> I fucking got them! Okay. Holy shit, an extended mag boosted maelstrom. Alright. What the fu- <laughs> What a fucking, uh, encounter, huh? <laughs> extended magazine doubles the base magazine capacity. Look at that shit. My god. Pirate sniper space helmet. Look at the value on this shit. It is so valuable. A suppressed maelstrom. Okay, I'm taking it all. Oh, too bad they don't just immediately become naked. Okay. Utility flight suit? Oh. Can we inspect it for, like, can we get an additional description on it? No. Okay. Fair enough. Pilot seat. So we can take over? What does that entail? Oh, 423 big ones. What is this? 
A three kilovolt laser cartridge? Med pack. He restores 4% health for 10 seconds. And 4% per second, so 40% overall. Gotcha. Okay, take it. I'm going to quick save because I don't want to burn my med packs in case we have like a really heavy... Oh, cargo hold. Two platinum. In case we have really heavy duty combat where we're going to need it. Okay. Oh, but this stuff. I'll eat milk and, and shit like that. Okay. Running while encumbered will drain our O2. That's a fun way of doing it. Okay. Sure. How many of these do I have? They don't have weights. Weight. Crucially enough, they do not have any weight. I think I have ten. Oh look, it's actually showing our health right there. I see. Gotcha. Okay. Oh yeah, look at all these meals. Why did they have so much food here? I guess for the three of them? How long did they plan to be, like, out here? Alien stew! Plus a hundred damage resist. Fuck yes. Oh yeah, look at the CO2 drain. Soba multi-pack? I don't like that noise outside. Is space supposed to make a noise like that? I feel like it ain't. I feel like something bad is going on, like I'm about to explode at any moment. Okay. Got a bunch of bowls. More meals. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not sure if we can, like, sleep or anything to restore health. But I will consume these things that are weighing us down. Good. I'll leave the alien stew. Oh, look, it's like it's, it's in a Pyrex or whatever. But I'm going to hold on to this because it gives 100 damage resistance for 12 fucking minutes. That's pretty good. Okay. Excellent. Anything else in here worth looking at? I don't think so. Alright, I'm quick saving. Pilot seat. So what happens if I take it over? What does that even mean? You have commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grav jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Oh. Any quest objects or passengers in your previous home ship will be transferred to your new home ship. Okay. Well, let's get up. I don't want this fucking shitty ass pirate ship. If the fucking starter ship that I have could beat it. Right. <laughs> then it can't be that good. If a brand new player behind the wheel of a starter ship beat it without even dying once, it cannot be that impressive of a machine. Oh, is this my blood? Ugh. Can we do like a quick slide down? No, we do it like proper astronaut style, being careful and shit. Okay. Let's get that levitating planet. Get the sealant that we missed before. Is this an item? No, it just looks cool. Just a bunch of shit that looks cool. Alright. There's so much to sift through. I love it. Thermos. Notebook. Okay. So what happens if I do cockpit? Do I go to my cockpit? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, get up. Oh, 
We aren't like under attack right now. What's this music? God, I hope we aren't. Okay, let's see. So let's go to my inventory and let's go to resources and we'll put these inside. Store all resources. Oh, cool. There's just a handy dandy unit right there. Okay, and I'm under encumbrance now by one unit, I think. Okay, great. Is there somewhere I can, like, rest? The bed. Okay, if I sleep for an hour, does my health go up any? Fuck yeah, it did. Excellent. Hell yes. Didn't have to use any important med packs. Great. Okay. Let us undock. That's cool. Now that might be a hidden load screen for a generating interior. Uh oh. So there are more assholes out here. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, my shield's offline. Okay, hull integrity is low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. Press O to repair your ship. This consumes parts. Let's see if we can make it. Oh fuck, we got blown up. I think we did. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. This time for real. Alright. Undock. Good. I think I can hear him warping in. Good. There you are, you asshole. Alright. We've got others nearby. Uh-oh. Enemy lock on. Oh fuck. I don't even see him though. Aren't you from that explorer's group? Don't they teach you to fly? They're teaching me right now! Okay, I think we've got... Yeah. Let's fucking hammer him. Oh, fuck! Ramming speed! Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, fucking nailed it. Easy. That's fine. The shield's held up. Okay. Oh, they're trying to fuck me on this. There we go. Got the shields down. Or are they fleeing? What is this? Okay. Crete. 
Oh, I remember this one from the early preview stuff. How do I get item? How do I get stuff? Do I just go into it? Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey Vasco, you got any you got any tips on this? This looks like a cool item. Do I have like a tractor beam or something? No? Okay, fine. What if I go into third person? Oh man, it looks dope as shit. Oh man, I think you, you gotta play in third person for the ship, right? It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Do you want more real or more cool? <laughs> I guess that's your choice. Okay. Well, I guess we won't know how to do it. So how do we go over to this stuff again? Bring up our menu, it said. Okay. Crete. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And then... Scan unavailable. Set landing target. Crete Research Lab. Set course to Crete? Yes. Travel while oh, you hold X. Cool. We Moon of Ensla. In orbit, the abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. All right. Press tab to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Okay. Star map? The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planets for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view. Then select the map icon to land there. Okay. Land. Same as before. Gotcha. Easy enough. Yeah, I wonder how you harvest stuff from blown up ships like that. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Exit ship. There we go. Hold X. X for exit. Actually, you know what? Let's go back in real quick. Do I have... Um, let's see. Let's go back to board. And let's stow some of our excess equipment in the cargo hold. Okay, and then my inventory. Weapons. All right. Yeah, great. So we want to store... We want to have, like, one ammo type, right? Right now, this is our highest damage that uses 6.5. Okay. Is there any way I can... Hmm. Scrap them or whatever? Maybe not. Okay. We'll just stow these. We'll keep the cutter because we might need it. Stow the bash and kraken. Okay, and spacesuits. Alright. I'm worried that there's a disguise system, so I don't want to keep any of the pirate shit on me. I don't want to use it, you know? I don't want people to think that I am a pirate. Also, it's, it's only situationally better than what we have, right? 
apparel. Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay, great. What else? Or is that good? Yeah, look, our mass is only 55 now. Great. Okay. Or is that research terminal or whatever? Yeah, how do we do this? The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Do we have one? An industrial workbench? Pharmacology. Available projects too. I feel like pharmacology would be useful. Medical treatment performance enhancement. Healing paste. Okay. Is there a way to inspect and see what these things do? Because I'm not yet familiar with them. Oh look, this is a pretty PC friendly UI here. Okay. Can make food as well. We can research different types of foods. How about here? Helmet mods. I see. Oh, outpost development. Robots. Weapons. Oh my god, there's so much cool shit. All right, let's first do this, I guess. Oh, I don't have enough inventory for these. I see. Right? Yeah, I'm lacking. Input zero out of three, but I only have one in my inventory for adaptive frame. Okay, gotcha. So we can't really do anything with it yet anyhow. All right, good to know. We have a rough idea of how it works. That'll, that'll suit us just fine for now. Okay. So we're rested up, we're ready to go to Crete. Good. Okay, hey Vasco. Captain, protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Why is this Crimson Fleet Captain after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him typically by continuing to live, usually ah. after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Just who are you in Barrett? What's Constellation? Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Huh. Why is Barrett trusting me with his ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Oh, uh, is he number one? In Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So right, he, talked he is that way. showing you trust in order to gain your support. Okay. Oh, and we could trade gear if we wanted to, which I'm assuming you don't really use gear, but you can probably hold a bunch. All right, good. Let's take a quick break right here. All right, we are back. 
Sorry about that. Had to uh, use the restroom real quick. Normally try not to do that, but, uh, you know, I'm just trying to eke out as much Starfield time as I possibly can. <laughs> All right. Let us get some bindings set up, I think, right? How would we do that? Huh. Favorite. Oh, ah, okay. So let's put this on two. And this on one. And if we really need it, I guess we could put the cutter on three. And I guess we'll need the cutter for mining, won't we? Okay. Good. We've also got other aid items. <sighs> Do I want to bind them? I've already got the med packs bound. So maybe not. Yeah, maybe we're good. Hell yeah. Oh, you can hold your breath. Deplete 02, of course it would. Alright. Good. How do I scan stuff? Do I have a scanner yet? Settings, bindings, data menu, quick keys. Right. Are these what I think they are? No, they are not. Okay, I've rebound them. Okay, that's fine though. Is there anything for like quick heal or whatever similar to Fallout where it just automatically uses a stim pack no matter what? I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we may want to rebind Sneak to something. Yeah, I may want to put Sneak on five, actually. Yeah, okay. And then we'll have that be six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Good, and then I'll set this to that button, mouse four. No conflicts, looks great. There's throw grenade, power is that button. I'm assuming I know what power means. All right, spaceship, controls, menu nav. Perk action, huh. Okay, photo mode. Oh yeah, I guess I could use photo mode and stuff for... For pictures, for thumbnails, huh? Okay, you know what, here, let's do a heavy save right there. Alright. Let's hit it. Oh. Research facility is in this direction. Oh, here we go. I just f did a scan somehow. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features, such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. I think I just tapped my flashlight button. Yeah. Scan. Temperament wary. So I can't scan the same creature once, but scanning multiples builds it up. It's a trilobite or trilobite. Oh. Dust root. Okay. Can I zoom? No. Got some iron. All 
All right. Where's my O2 at? Or is there oxygen on here? Oh, 18%. So I guess it just comes back slower. Oh, there was lead there. Where? This? Is it just like a ground-based sort of item? Oh uh, yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, I can mine while doing it too. Handy. Do I need to actually pick this up? Or is it considered mined when I do it? Okay. I don't think we need our mining tool on our hotbar, though. Right? I think when I... Let's see. Let me draw my pistol. Bring this out. Yeah, it just automatically equips our mining tool whenever we enter scan mode. Useful. Okay, so we can replace our three button with something if we want. Okay. Let's get the lead. Oh yeah, there we go. Top right, lead added. Just whenever it explodes, we somehow get it. Hey, geology is going up. Oh yeah, I do have some skill in geology. At the end of this video, we're gonna read through all that shit. There we go. I can't use this on, like, the root, can I? No. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, neat. How about that? Is that a... What is that? Is that peaceful? It shows green when I look at it. Does that mean it's peace-loving? I'm assuming that's what that means. That it's peace-loving. I can't remember... if... they killed this thing in the, uh pre-release material in the direct or whatever it was. Oh, look, here's another weird route. Oh, look, there's some shit way out there. Oh, look at my jumping. Holy hell. Okay, yeah. Just a little over half gravity. That's so fucking rad. Wow, we're getting our geology fucking leveled up big style. Okay. Can I scan this creature? Oh shit. It looks hostile as shit. Is it, though? It looks really pissed. Okay, it's pissed. Ooh, fuck! I'm kiting it. Holy shit, I'm really digging it, though. Look at this. The mining laser's ripping its ass up. Can I scan it while it's toast? No. Fiber tissue. What is this good for? Oh, and crafting. Ew. Okay. Sure. Let's head down this way. Oh, look, we have our vans or clairvoyance. The range on that's pretty nice. Okay. Can I get it from all the way back here? I don't think so. I think I'm a little too far. There we go. 
when sparks are produced, I think we are close enough. I wonder if there's upgraded cutters that uh, have even higher range. Are there different weather conditions that change on planets, or is it just like, this planet has this weather? What kind of sci-fi are we dealing with here? Alright, get some more nice ore. Excellent. I'm fucking loving this. Okay. Let's do a quick save. Some gaseous fumes in the distance. Just a uh, your standard class A farting planet. Can we scan for enemies? Crete Research Lab. Fifty percent scan the red root, the dust crimson root. Okay, anything else here we can get? What's that icon? Our landing area? Frontier. Hey, we got it. Nice. Still need more trilobites. I'm sure they'll come in time. I don't see anybody. Oh, that front door's open. Okay. Is there anything good out this way? Uh, seems like just a bunch of shit. Some lootables, but nothing worthwhile. Uh, reactive gauge. That's kind of useful. It's a common component, but we don't really have much of anything right now. Impact driver. Okay. Oh, it's a quick save. Stealth mode activate. Yo, where the fuck did Vasco go? Vasco, are you on my fucking six or what, dude? Let's see. Can I track Vasco? Oh god, I don't know where Vasco is. Okay. What the fuck? Anything good in here? Oh man, we're sounding real Star Trek right now with this music. Bubble level? Oh, a bubble level, right. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What are these words? Red pack. Staple gun. Some money. Okay. I'm guessing I can just turn my light on here. Screwdriver. Wow, that's not a lootable item? Okay. Oh, a microscope. Okay. Ah, there is a load screen for the interior. Maybe Vasco will show up here. Okay, thank god. 
All right. Vasco, do you have stealth protocol or what? While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary function. I'm sorry. Okay. Bad people, bad jokes. Hell yeah. Let's add it to the list. Let's see here. Bad people, bad jokes, too. Okay. Starlocked board game. Well, it's actually valuable. Solar Frontiers game, also valuable. Though I guess I don't have any fucking clue if it's valuable. Reminder, run. Alright. Anything else good around? Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Damn. Omega, the last days. Oh, okay. Omega, the last days. Great. A cube? Empty chunks packaging, a notebook. Oh, what is this? It can be picked up but not opened. Tissues, gold pyramid sculpture, gravity, the gravity paradigm. Okay. The gravity paradigm. Okay. So far, no skill books, you know? Safety protocol. Fun chair. Okay, quick saving again. Alright. It's a little fucking ominous in here. A molecule extractor? That seems valuable. Okay, I'm taking it. Can I scan for enemies or anything? No. Too bad you can't get like thermal vision or something. See through walls or x-ray vision. What the fuck is that noise? A toxin. It sounds like a fucking slithering snake lord. Listen to that. It sounds like a fucking little snake. Red Rover come over. Okay. Red Rover come over. A folder, a pen, mug, notepad. Oh, butter and yogurt. Nice. A mug. Be quiet. It was an angry little dude. Oh. These can be opened. Okay. Nothing really inside. Fair enough. There's definitely something fucked up upstairs. Oh yeah, there it is. A heat leech. Okay. Can I scan it? Scan it? I don't think so. I roasted it. Look, this sh scanning shows up uh, lootables. Very useful. Yeah, holy crap, great for spotting stuff. Look at all this. A vial, graduated cylinder. 
I feel like that's valuable. 0 0.1 for 55 value? I don't fucking know. I don't know the value of stuff or what all I can sell. Okay. Look like a, yeah, a trowel. Quick saving. All right. Is that it? It's just a weird leech up here? Document tray, desktop organizer, genetic sample bottle. Yeah, the genetic sample bottle actually isn't that valuable. I thought it was earlier, but there's better value things to be lifting. Can I open this? Hmm. Oh. 7.77 millimeter. Useful. No books. Just some trash. Oh, a digipick. Two of them, in fact. What is this? Oh, a cred stick. 171 big ones. Healing stuff on the wall. Good. Quick saving again. What the fuck is that noise? Was that Vasco? Yo, there's a bunch of dead ass people here. Ugh. Oh, he's been dead a while, huh? There's a nutrient I can take off of the bod. Medical clearance. Okay. Kefir. What is that? A fermented milk drink with the consistency of a thin yogurt. Ugh. There's nothing worse than a thin yogurt, I think. History of xenobiology. I'll take that. History of xeno... Biology. Some of these books are really short, too. I'm not sure if on average so far they've been significantly shorter than Skyrim books or not. Okay. More books and stuff, or... Notebooks, I should say. Organizer. Sure. Alright. Over here. Man, I love this. I love just being able to look at shit real quick. It's great for the dark areas, you know? A bolt cutter. Hydraulic clamp. Okay. This looks like a fight area, but maybe not. Oh, I hear pirates speaking. Do you think pirates in the future talk in a funny way too? <laughs> do, you th do you think they have their own kind of future pirate speak? Food. Anything else? An oven mitt? Something in there. Can I open that? Huh, I don't know how. Should be able to open these. Yeah. Drink pack beer. Alright. Quick saving again. Bunch of cups. Yeah, there's the pirates. Why? Vasco, shut the fuck up. Quit stomping around. I have detected hostile life near. Me too, but I'm not saying it like that. Oh god, Vasco! Oh your body blocking me there, Vasco! 
Holy shit! Okay. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. Look at him crawling. Cool. During combat. Ooh, what's a rattler? Oh, it's some kind of cool pistol. Okay. Yeah, it shoots point twenty seven caliber. It's is it a type of revolver? It looks like this revolves. Okay. Decent amount of ammo. A Grendel? Like a... Oh, okay. Taking all of that. Deck of cards is highly valuable. Sandwich. Okay, anything else here? Weird sculpture. Right. Yeah, I think we're getting to a point where we're getting enough ammo, you know? Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's a fun hat. Okay. Let's see. Let us bind another weapon. Let's bind the Rattler. Because it's another ammo type. There we are. Good. We could also chow down some food real quick. Let's see. I'm hesitant to just eat butter because it seems like I could cook it into something, you know? Some spiced worm. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm gonna drink the booze again. There we go. More worm. Lovely. So, 12 shots before we have to reload as well. Oh god. I <laughs> just instantly had fallout flashbacks when I opened that without checking for booby traps. Oh, the Pickwick Papers. Fuck, we're getting so many things to read. The Pick... Wick... Papers. Okay, milk as well. Soap dispenser... Alright, I should just be scanning in here. Way quicker. Alright. Let's quick save. If there's booby traps on the ground, I wonder if our scanner will detect it, you know? Is that motherfucker down there? What's up with that lighting? Okay. Quick save. Nothing is beyond reach. The what? Oh, it's a TV show. That was the best. <laughs> Classic United Colonies. Put something in a cave until it kills you. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Where the fuck are they at, though? Are they all the way down there? Let's make sure there's not any behind us so we don't get flanked in the middle of combat or something. And then we can go through all this. Alright. Good, good, good. Ooh, very snappy. I 
can't open this door. It must be blocked or something. Or healing on the wall. Ammo as well. Nades, too? Okay. Let's see. Weapons. Do I need to equip those? Yeah, thrown. A grenade. There we go. Okay, and how do I throw a grenade again? Bindings G. Okay. Do you think we'll get a grenade trajectory arc? God, I love those. Nope. There goes nothing! Whew, up high too. Can I just get up there? Oh, fuck. Go grenade. Oh, it missed. Something's gonna blow up. Got a level. Hey, I've restored my health. Look at this asshole. Can I break that fucking glass? Or is it bulletproof? Seeming a little bulletproof. Oh god, what's my melee? Oh, do I have one? Oh god. Let's check real quick. Bindings, melee is V, okay. Hmm. Maybe I want that rebound to that. Yeah. Okay, let's have that be there. And then melee be mouse four. Okay, yeah. That's good. Perfect. All right, there's at least one dude still around. Two, it looks like. Where at though? We have lost them. There's quite a few that we've aggroed. O2 is consumed with exertion such as sprinting, melee attacks, and jumping. Okay, I gotcha. Fuck off. Oh, someone just dropped down. Okay. I can't shoot through that. Okay. It's fine. Going in. Where'd they go? Did they go inside this? Oh, what the fuck? I hope they didn't go inside of this. I just pulled out a little all-seeing eye. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Okay. I'm going to exit that real quick. I do not feel pain. But I hear it is terrible. Jesus, Vasco. Huh. Damage registered. Yep, can't shoot through that. Gotcha. All right, taking that. Quick save. Got another one upstairs. They were in here. You're mine. Oh. 
Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, good stuff. Let's backtrack a bit. Right? Ooh, 300 something on that scientist. Yeah, we, we ran through quite a bit because we entered combat. Let's see. Where was that one room? Was this it? Yeah, okay, this is where we entered. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, planetary system sculpture. Looks neat. Taking it. Okay. Sure. Coffee mug. A bunch of stuff there. Anything good in these? No. Microscope. Ooh, a hazmat suit. Huh. Some decent resistance to airborne radiation and corrosive effects. Makes sense. Though I don't know if 15 is decent or not, actually. Oh, what the hell? It's a floater! The contemporary kind. Okay. What else we got? Ooh, some talons or something? A digipick and a mobilizer. What is that? Designed to provide rigid support to injured limbs. Used to treat afflictions. Treats dislocated limb, fractured limb, fractured skull, sprain, and torn muscle. Okay. Ugh, there's some weird fucking, like, slaughterfish out here. Cube. Take their junk. Oh, can I loot this one? Ooh. Oh, God. Well, we're definitely gonna fight one of those, whatever it is. At some point in the future. Desktop sphere toy? Okay. Sure. Anything else down here? Yeah, there's something on the floor. Oh, just trash. Okay. Good. I bet one of these will be in here, still alive. Oh, fuck! Micro... Microbial contamination environment. Your suit is protecting you from environmental damage. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. What the fuck? Okay. Boom pop black licorice. Chunks cola packaged. Uranium. I mean, that makes sense. Why wouldn't they put uranium in this game? Okay. I just hope that we don't go up to one of them and they, like, break out and start screaming at me. Man, I love the mantling. It's gotta be said. A weapon case. Oh, a computer. Whoa. Laser pistol. A 1.5 kilovolt laser cartridge. Neat. Thermal, or heel paste. Okay, screwdriver back there. Is the mo molecule extractor worth it? I don't know. I don't even know if I can sell these things off, so you know what? I don't know is probably the best answer. Because otherwise coffee mugs look kind of valuable too. What does this one even say? If you can read this, get your own mug and... Or get your own damn coffee mug. Gotcha. Oh, Starware. Project Pet Shop? Oh, here we go. Some reading-ass reading. 
Project Pet Shop, Hayden Wynn, Senior Xenobiologist, Crete Research Facility, Project Log, February 11th, 2307. My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colonies spared no expense. It's all very exciting. Inspirational, really, knowing you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is a closely guarded secret, located in Freestar Collective space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Freestar Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says, this is 1942 all over again. Jesus. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the Game Changer before the other side. So, to that effect, I am overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop. Phase 1 is a go. Arthropods. Okay, March 3rd, 2307. We're in 2330. The arthropods are, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and their control fidelity has remained in the 95-97% to 97 range. They've passed all environmental survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low, or no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things could operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've already integrated with the Red Devils, who have joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. Red Devils. Success. August 2307. After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I am overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colony's Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hoped for, and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain, capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts Obedientes Peace. Peace. Piss. <laughs> but, but we just call them stalkers. I think it may finally be time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. The Red Devils. August 12th, 2307. The Red Devils' progress with the stalkers has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in UC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see with regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training, here in the pet shop, I'm confident they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Mickelson suggests I contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where his marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. Jesus. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure a repeated theme seeing the links at which these two factions that are currently at peace go to in order to uh, do future war with one another. Right? Okay. Anything on you? A heart plus. Improves fortitude and pain tolerance. Oh. 20% max health and 200 damage resistance for two minutes. Gotcha. Anything over here? Nah, uh, nothing much. Okay. Well, you know what? Pretty big area. We've been running kind of long. How about we call it here and we look through, at the very least, the traits menu, right? I'm very eager and excited to see what is all up with that. Let's see, if you'll excuse me, I am going to take a quick drink here. Sorry about this. Alright. And yeah, we got a skill point too. Perfect time. You received one you receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. 
The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. Ah, okay. So what is the requirement? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. Well, let's let's start with science because we already have a point. Or oh shit, all of our stuff is in here, so we may quickly get to this. Weapon engineering. Yeah, aren't all? Yeah, you start with three traits or three skills, and we happen to have it all in science because we're a professor, or formerly a professor. Astrodynamics. Okay, science, astro- well, you know what? Here, let's let's start from the left, and we'll make our way through, right? Because I want to be thorough and go through all of these. And what easier way to do that than by, like, reading. Alright, physical skills. Physical boxing. Once considered a sport of kings, boxing is still practiced. Oh, and of course, as per usual, I don't think I even mentioned it. If you want to stick around, feel free to. We're going to be running, reading through all of this. If not... Uh, always, I try to reserve the reading for the end, if it's possible, unless it's context-sensitive or important to the current quest or objective or whatever. That way, if you, you don't really care what's in the book, you can just skip it. Anyway. Uh, boxing. Once considered a sport of kings, boxing is still practiced as a recreational competitive activity. But its combat applications can't be denied. Okay. Unarmed attacks, 25% more damage, less O2 when power attacking. Okay. While in a fight and unarmed, running consumes 30% less O2. Huh. And then double at the end. I'm assuming it's not cumulative and every skill up is a 25% increase rather than, like at rank 2, do you have a 75% in total bonus? I'm assuming that's not the case. Right? Gotta be. Well, I don't know. Unarmed attacks do double damage, have a chance to knock down opponents. Right. Okay. Fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen, and the increased lung capacity gained by regular physical by regular by a regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. Okay, increases your max oxygen, but at the final one, sprinting and power attacks now use significantly less oxygen. So your first rank is, you can just pop in and get. But the others, right, you have to do challenges to... in addition to spending a skill point. Very fun, I think. Stealth. For a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. Adds a stealth meter. 25% more difficult to detect when sneaking, Suppress weapons, deal an additional 5% sneak attack damage. Okay, scales it up, scales it up. Doors you interact with while in stealth no longer alert enemies. Oh. I didn't even know that they did. Okay. Useful. Weightlifting. Weight training can significantly increase one's ability to carry weapons and equipment, both in space and on the ground. Okay, just does exactly what you would think. Man, it really ramps up, though. The first one is only 10 extra, but rank 4 is 100 kilograms and 50% resistance to stagger. Wellness. Okay. Just regular 10% every time. Yeah, I wonder if it's cumulative. Huh. All right here. Energy weapon dissipation. Considering the widespread use of energy weapons in the settled system, specialized training to minimize damage is considered invaluable. Reduces energy damage. Taken, I assume. Okay. Very small percentage. 25% chance to reflect energy damage back to an attacker when your health is below half. Huh. Environmental conditioning. In the settled systems, even oxygen-rich planets and moons may have an atmosphere that is hazardous to human beings. Resistance to airborne environmental damage, thermal, corrosive, and radiation. 
Reduced chance to gain afflictions from environmental damage sources. Oh. Okay. So it's like they took the radiation system from Fallout and they just applied it to different types of hazards. So there's more than just radiation. Gymnastics. From navigating the elevations of alien landscapes to exploring derelict ships in zero-g, gymnastic training is invaluable for improving both safety and maneuverability. Hey, there we go. Unlock the ability to combat slide. Less fall damage. Move faster in zero-g. Less fall damage. More stable when firing in zero-g. Replenish O2 after mantling. Really? Increase jump height. Run faster after combat sliding or mantling. Nutrition. Advanced nutritional science is no substitute for good life choices, and knowing how much and when to eat can be just as important as the food itself. Okay. More effectiveness on food and drink. Pain tolerance. Pain hurts, but only if you're not strong enough to take it. Physical damage reduced. Rank 4 is 5% chance to just ignore physical damage when your health is low. What is considered low health? Half health? 25% health? 33% health? Alright. Cellular regeneration. I don't really like um, these qualitative sort of perks, right? When it's just like, yeah, when your health is low, I don't know what that means, right? That's not that useful to me. I love it how it says 5% chance, but why not also say what low health means, right? Why not tell me a percentage there as well? But hey, <laughs> frankly, BGS does that a lot. All right, sorry, I'm going to take a quick drink here again. All right. Cellular regeneration. What the fuck? Whether through secret experimentation. I think that's a typo, isn't it? Or just plain healthy living. Boosting the body's ability to naturally recover from injuries can mean the difference between life and death. Chance to recover from injuries naturally. Oh. So do you always have a chance to recover naturally from an injury? Like a wounded limb? 20% chance of not gaining an injury when you otherwise would. It is very fascinating that they decide to put the limb damage mechanic into this game. Right? When they decide not to do that with Skyrim, even though they'd already developed it for the engine with Fallout 3, they... they deliberately decide that Skyrim wasn't to have limb damage. Decontamination. Through a deliberate regiment of conditioning and antibody therapy, one may effectively combat even the settled system's unseen threats. Oh, infections. Okay. Very similar to the last one, except with infections. 20% chance of not gaining one when you otherwise would. Okay. Martial arts. There are currently hundreds of martial arts practiced in the settled systems, some originating on ancient Earth, some newly created, almost all effective in combat. Okay, 15% crit chance with melee or unarmed. Chance to disarm. 10% less damage. Reflect 50% damage back when blocking. Okay. Let's see. Concealment. Few skills capture the imagination like the ability to remain undetected, used by assassins, special forces, operatives, and simple thieves alike for centuries. Okay, rank 1. No longer set off enemy mines. Ranged sneak attacks do 2.5 times normal damage. Oh, this, this is a very familiar Bethesda sneak perk, right? And your melee attacks do 4 times normal damage. Running while sneaking doesn't affect stealth. Yeah, this is very familiar, except it's rolled in a whole lot of things into one, uh, one package here, so it's even more valuable. Chameleon-like ability when completely still and sneaking. Right, so very similar to the Fallout 4 armor mods that give you literally chameleon if you're standing still, right? I think, I think 76 has that as well, or maybe I'm even conflating them. 
Engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you, right? That was in Skyrim as well. Okay. Neuro Strikes. Once considered the realm of fiction, the ability to disable an opponent without using a weapon is terrifyingly effective when performed by a skilled practitioner. 10% chance to stun an NPC with an unarmed attack. That seems pretty decent, because I have to imagine your unarmed attacks are really, really quick. They deal additional EM damage? What is EM? Electromagnetic? No. 20% chance to stun an NPC. After stunning an enemy, you also knock down any enemies within close range. Wow. Yeah, you can tell how these bottom ones are just like ridiculous. Rejuvenation. Utilizing both ancient meditation techniques and newly developed breathing exercises, it's possible for one to actually trigger their body's natural healing ability. Slowly regen health outside of combat, more quickly, much faster, can also regenerate while in combat. Okay, so it just keeps ramping it up. Gotcha. Alright, well, I would love to read these other ones, but frankly, my voice is starting to get kind of hoarse. Right, so we still got four more to read through. We'll do it next time, I think. And instead for now, I'll probably invest a point into, like, one of these. Right, should we double down on... Let's see, geology, newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. That's tempting, I guess. Hmm. Okay, research methods reduces the cost. None of these are terribly good. Medicine is okay. Restore per more and faster. That's okay. Hmm. Wow, sounds like there's some really cool shit down here, though. It's for science. Weapon engineering's a big one. As is spacesuit design, I think. Okay, yeah, like I said, we'll have to look through these later. We may have to get um, something here. Right. Something under combat would be useful to have. I think. I mean, that said, they all seem really useful. Right? What a great uh, set of shit. Okay, yeah, maybe in between videos I'll decide on what to pop a point into. I'm tempted to get, like, shotguns or ballistics or something. I'm really tempted by shotguns despite the fact that we don't have a shotgun. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, until next time, please take care of each other.